Hey again, guys. Do you know what I like to do when I get back from visiting with Andrew Nuff Said Cards and checking out his amazing collection? I like to look at some baseball cards. Hey, I want to send a special thank you to Andrew. He has an amazing family. He welcomed me into his home. He showed me, man, his fantastic collection. First time holding some of those cards. And I have to tell you, he pretty much had to pry them out of my hands uh, so I could leave. <laughs> wow, some beauties. And uh, so coming back uh, from seeing his amazing cards, man, I have, uh, I want to show you two things right now. I want to show you a super rare card. And if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a huge Buck Weaver fan. Buck Weaver was the third baseman on the 1919 Black Sox. He uh, played well, uh, didn't take the money, but was still banned from baseball, which he fought his entire life. And I got a hold of another one of his cards, and it's a really rare card. And I want to show you, uh, I'm going to have to put the white glove on for this. But I have to get a little negative here just for a minute because, <laughs> I mean, how sad is this? So I, I bought an SGC graded copy and it took a long time to get here because eBay had to authenticate the SGC authenticated card. I mean, this is where we are in the hobby right now. Thanks to a lot of horrible, horrible people in our hobby. And I think it's ridiculous that we are now authenticating, authenticated cards. But that said, I'm not going to let that bring me down. Because this is a beauty. Let me break it out of here. So they put this little authentication on the back. And if you take it out of this sleeve, then eBay no longer will... Uh, Guarantee it, but uh, <laughs> ridiculous. So let's look at this beautiful Buck Weaver. I honestly don't know why it's a one. What I can tell you is that this set, the cards are very thin and fragile, and they're really tough to find in any kind of high grade. I think, uh, you know, to be happy with any one, but like a three would be an outstanding example in this particular set. PSA lists 198 cards in this set in their checklist, but on the back, it clearly says that they made 200. So 200 different players, so I'm not sure. What I find interesting about the back is it says Baseball Hall of Fame. Now it's interesting they use that term because the Baseball Hall of Fame didn't exist yet. But this is a 1917 Collins McCarthy the same company that made Z-Nut. 1917, two years before the Black Sox scandal. Now, I don't know how many SGC has graded, but PSA has only graded three. Three of these. They graded one blank back. And I'm not sure how they would possibly know a blank back was in this set because... This set was made, they used these photos for many other sets. Uh, Boston Store is one of them, I know. Uh, and I think there's two, one or two more sets that they use these images for. So, you know, if it's blank back, I don't know how they would know it, it came from this set. So if you add in the blank back and it is from this set, that would mean PSA has graded four of them. And out of the 200 they claim to have uh, produced... PSA has actually only graded 500 and some in the entire set. But a beautiful example of this card, in my opinion. And I just love Buck Weaver cards. So I'm very, very happy to get this. You're going to have to take it out of this, this plastic, though. Sorry, eBay. I don't really care about your guarantee on an SGC card. I find it ridiculous. 
Got to put it in a perfect fit, you know, make it look good. And I got my hands on an uncut sheet of Wheaties cards. And man, it has some great players. Stan Musial, Ben Hogan, Bob Feller, Otto Graham, Ralph Kiner. So you're probably familiar with these 52 Wheaties. You see singles, but this is how they came on the box. Now, this is a partial box. They came with ads on the top. And there were different ads. Some of them had a player. I think Bob Feller was one of the players. And uh, some of them were more generic. And on the top, it uh, promoted that you could collect 60 cards in the set. So the top of this has been cut off and we're left with just the cards. I'd actually like to get the, uh, the ad as well. But just in fantastic condition. And some great players. Of course, I'm a Ralph Connor fan. I'm a Stan Musial fan. Ben Hogan's my favorite golfer of all time. We got Bob Feller, Preacher Rowe, Johnny Lujak, and Bob Lemon. So that's what I have for you right now. So I, I took a, a selfie with uh, <laughs> with Andrew Nuff said cards. I'm going to show you now because, you know, all you ever see is the Piedmont sign at his hands. So uh, here's a selfie I took. Andrew, thank you again. You have a wonderful family, wonderful home. Thank you for welcoming me in, uh, especially at the last minute. Uh, I had a blast and uh, you were very gracious. So I want to thank you and thank you for watching.